What's up, everybody? The Iceman here on this very early Sunday morning, but we have Great Balls of Fire presented by the WWE tonight on the WWE Network and also presented by the Raw brand. So let's get to the match card and let's sort of dissect it a little bit. Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt. I've seen a lot of predictions out there um, by professionals that are saying that Bray Wyatt's going to come out on top of this match. I just don't see Bray Wyatt going over Seth Rollins. Um, yeah, it's a possibility. Yeah, they've pushed Bray Wyatt to the point where he did become WWE champion at one point, but it was very short-lived. I just don't see the point. Um, unfortunately, um, I'm going to go with Seth Rollins on this pick. Now we have Cesaro and Sheamus versus the Hardy Boys in an Iron Man match for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Cesaro and Sheamus, obviously, who are champions. I don't think the Hardy Boys are going to get this win. Um, simply because it is at Great Balls of Fire. Um, but I will say this. If they find a way to finalize uh, into another another matchup, say for SummerSlam, and maybe, just maybe, the Broken Hardy gimmick is finally there because they are getting very, very close to um, getting the rights back to the Broken gimmick, then that would be interesting to see that return at SummerSlam, and it would be a big pop for the fans. Uh, for the Hardy Boys to come back and use that gimmick and regain the tag team titles. And I think that's that would be the biggest thing that could happen um, in the next month or two. So I'm going to go with Sheamus and Cesaro to retain at this point. Now, in a Cruiserweight match, we have Neville versus Akira Tozawa. Cruiserweight Championship match. Neville's held this for quite some time now. Uh, he's been very, very dominant. Uh, he's had some very, very good victories over uh, former WWE and Cruiserweight star from the NXT, Austin Aries, who has now recently left the WWE. Um, I think it's time. I think it's time. I think Tozawa is a, 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 a good man to come in and uh, sort of level out Neville and become the new Cruiserweight champion. So I'm going to go with Akira Tozawa to win the Cruiserweight title. Now, The Miz against Dean Ambrose, Intercontinental Championship. How many times have we seen this? Does really anybody really care? Seriously. Does anybody really, really care? At this point, I don't. I do like The Miz. Um, I like Ambrose. But... This matchup's been going on far, far too long. I'm going to go with Miz to keep on trucking. So this isn't a match I really don't care too much about. So Now a match that I do care about is Alexa Bliss, the Raw Women's Champion, going up against Sasha Banks. Now, big Sasha Banks fan, but a bigger Alexa Bliss fan. And I think the WWE has put Bliss on a pedestal at this point um, to really be the leader um, in the women's division on Raw. And as much as a lot of people would like to see Sasha Banks come out on top of this match, we all know that Sasha's been women's champion on a couple different occasions, although they were very short-lived. I don't think tonight is going to be the night for Sasha Banks to get that magic back and upend Alexa Bliss. I really think if Alexa is to lose um, her title, it will be at SummerSlam, and it may not be to Sasha Banks. It could be to Nia Jack. So we'll have to wait and see. But I'm going to go with Alexa Bliss all the way on this one, and I've got my fingers crossed. Now, in a grudge match, friends broken up. Enzo Amore and Big Cass. Enzo is really the popular, the biggest 
you know, more popular, the two of these guys when they were together. And I think really for Big Cass to really go out individually on his own, I think he has to beat Enzo uh, in this match. And I think he's going to win. It may be underhandedly, uh, but in any event, he's going to come out on top. So look for Big Cass to win this match. Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns in an ambulance match. Tough one to call. Really is. Um, Strowman has been pushed very, very hard lately by the WWE. Uh, then he had his injury and he's come back. Roman Reigns has got his ups and downs in the WWE. But this is Roman Reigns' match. I see Roman Reigns getting Braun Strowman taken out with the ambulance. It just makes sense to me. Could be wrong. Wait and see. But I pick Roman Reigns. Now the main event. Universal title. Brock Lesnar. Universal champion. Part-time universal champion. Bugs the hell out of me. Really does. Um, Challenger Samoa Joe. Going to be a good match. Samoa Joe is going to carry this match. Uh, by all means. Joe is going to carry this match. And it's going to be unfortunate for the outcome, because Brock Lesnar is going to retain in this match. I don't see Lesnar losing at Great Balls of Fire. Um, if he were to lose, I think it would go to SummerSlam, and I think this match might be carried over. Um, it's not going to be a one-and-done deal, because it's going to be a good match, and Joe is going to carry it, and he's going to get a lot of recognition from everybody, everywhere. Because if anybody's ever watched Joe in Ring of Honor or back in the days of TNA Impact Wrestling, Joe, for a big guy, is very quick, very agile, and very athletic. So Joe will definitely carry this match with Brock Lesnar. Um, but unfortunately, he's going to come out the loser one way or the other. But I'm hoping it carries over into SummerSlam. And maybe Joe has a possibility of getting this belt off Brock Lesnar, who is a part-time champion which I totally despise. I totally, totally despise. You know, you can be a part-time champion, don't defend your title for 60 days, they never even speak of it. You get an injury, and you're not even up to your 30 days, and they want to take the belt off you. Don't make no sense to me, but that's the WWE way. So in the event, that is Great Balls of Fire tonight, here on the WWE Network. Let's see what happens. Have yourself a great Sunday, everybody, and we'll see you all next time.